Hey YouTube, so some of you may or may not know that I've worked in three camera shops in my lifetime, currently in my third one. That is to say, I've seen a lot of camera gadgets come and go in my time. So recently I got an awesome package from Datacolor, and we're going to go through it today and I'll give you my full review. I'll show you how it changed my photography for the better. Alright, so first things first, let me give you an idea of what we're looking at here. This is the Datacolor Spider-X Capture Pro which comes in this awesome metal carrying case and it features four different tools that help you throughout your workflow to help you get sharper images and to manage your colors in both production and post-production. This first item is called a Spider Cube and it serves as a reference for gray, white, and black points as well as catch lights. Essentially you'd use it to help define the proper contrast and white balance in your images. You'll see it does have white and gray reference chips but it also features a light trap which is completely black. I love using this in the studio to help set up before my model arrives and I'll know the white balance and the catch lights are where I want them. This cube does have a standard 3 quarter inch thread so you can mount it to a tripod but it also includes a lanyard and carrying bag so you can keep it on you at all times during the shoot. Next up we have the Spider Lens Cal which is a nice little lens calibration tool. It's made of pretty solid plastic and folds down flat but assembles pretty easily and features a bubble level as well as a 3 quarter inch mount. This is supposed to help you determine whether or not your lens may be front or back focusing, and if so, it gives you a handy calibration target to get it back on track. This is done differently on every camera, so it's not something I'm going to go into here, but it's worth noting that, at least in my shop, lens calibration is going to cost you 50, 60 bucks. It's definitely worth learning how to do it yourself, and after speaking to the tech at work, he says he's never come across a camera and lens combo that didn't need some calibration. Do what you will with that information. Okay, we're finally at what I consider to be my favorite part of this product. Here we have the spider checker, and this is another calibration chart specifically for accurate color. While some people can get away with colors that are close, there are other photographers like those that photograph fashion, products, or artwork where color rendition is of the utmost importance. For those people we have the spider checker. So the way this works, in a nutshell, is that Datacolor supplies you with both software and hardware that reference a specific color in analog and digital formats. This chart would be the analog format. The software that you use to create a color profile is the digital portion of this equation. So when you sync them together, they cross-reference and may alter your RGB channels a little to properly display the intended colors. It's honestly probably a lot more complex than I could ever wrap my head around. So to help me demonstrate, I present you my shoot with Avery. Everyone, this is Avery. So I put this particular shoot together to specifically test the color accuracy when it comes to fashion and clothing. I asked my model to wear colorful clothing and we shot both indoors and outdoors. You can see here that the first thing I do is to take a shot out of the spider checker. This is the image I'll be using later to set up a custom profile for my camera. As we change locations I have her hold the spider checker towards me so I can take more reference images. The way the light reflects off the ground or even a nearby building it cause a color cast so it's necessary to keep taking shots of the spider checker as we shoot. I also played around with setting up a separate profile for indoor and outdoor photos, but I don't think it's necessary. The color difference, personally, was too minor for me to notice anything. I think creating just one custom profile is probably enough. So before moving on to the software portion of this tool, I just wanted to address my camera setup because I tend to get questions on that. So the video you're watching here was all shot on the Nikon Z6 mirrorless camera, and hasn't been calibrated in the way my images have been. But since the target was in the frame, I did set my white balance to it, as the second chip on the first row of the right color chart is an 18% gray target. As of right now, I don't believe Datacolor software can output camera calibrations to Adobe Premiere. It does, however, support Adobe Camera Raw, Lightroom, and Hasselblad's Focus software. In regards to any still images shown in this video, they were taken with my Nikon D800, I used a Nikon 58mm 1.4G lens outdoors, and indoors I used an old 80-200 push-pull lens. When I compare the skin tones of the images taken indoors and outdoors, they look fairly comparable, even though I know the color rendition of the 58mm lens is superb right out of the box. I'd always noticed a weird tint on my images taken with my 80-200, but the spider checker seems to make any difference negligible, and I really love the colors after calibration. For that one reason alone, I really love this tool, and I feel like it's taken my work to the next level. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the Datacolor software for a minute. So right here, I have a cropped photo of the spider checker from my shoot. 
Utilizing data color software, I'm able to line up the digital and physical color references in order to create a custom camera color profile. When I open up any images in the future with the color target present, I simply select my custom profile and set the white balance and you can see that the difference is night and day. Even here, with my camera set to auto white balance, you can see how big a difference we have from the original photograph to the calibrated photograph. And from our one calibrated photograph, all we have to do is sync the rest of the photos and we have a fully calibrated set. It used to take me a lot longer to try and guess what felt right to me, but I love having the confidence that each color is accurate as I can get it. The best part is that when I go to print images, as long as my monitor is also calibrated, I have a good idea of what to expect. Which brings us to the final part of this kit, the Spider X Elite, which is a monitor calibration tool, and it is stupidly easy to use. From what I can tell, this thing has sensors on both the interior and exterior that help read the ambient light as well as the on-screen colors. You can see that as I run the software here, it really guides you through the whole thing so I don't really have to know a whole lot about color calibration. After it's done, it shows you a before and after, and once again, it's way better than I could ever get just by eyeballing it. All in all, this toolkit from Datacolor receives high marks from me. This whole kit sells for $400, but you can also buy each part individually if you want to pick and choose what works for you. Though, if I had to choose, I could never live without the Spider Checker and the Spider X Elite Calibration Tool ever again. I'll make sure to throw some links in the description if you're interested. Alright guys, that's it for today's episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified of every video I make. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.